Hey guys, another knife review. Um, it's another. It's a bussy. Um, it's another satin jack model. I, I actually, this is my all-time favorite uh, bussy knife. I've been looking for one for a while now, um, and I never could locate them there. Either, you know, there is a one in six. So there's six made, uh, you know, give or take one or two. I really honestly don't know. Uh, but that's what it is uh, dubbed. But um, it, basically, I remember talking about the uh, getting the snakeskin satin jack, and uh, that deal fell through, so I never got one. I will eventually. I just uh, haven't been able to locate one yet. Um, now, this is, uh, I wanted this one even more, and I got an opportunity at one. And I just, I couldn't resist, so I picked it up. Um, and anyway, first let's look at the sheath that comes with this. Uh, it does not come with this, but the owner of the knife before me had it made. This is, um, Chuddy Bear. I don't know how well you can see that. But, uh, excellent, excellent leather. Um, based in Pennsylvania here, so that's kind of cool to my state. But the quality of the sheath is just outstanding. I don't know how well you can actually make out some of these details, but if you see how it's thin here and it kind of ramps up thickness, you see this little swedge of leather? It's, it's perfect. It's so much detail uh, that, go, that went into this. Like this the loop, he actually kind of wedged it down in there to make it just flawless, but this is a gorgeous sheath. Uh, just a snap retention and uh, let me take the knife out so this is the blade it's a little bit thicker than the other satin jack um, I don't think quite a quarter inch it could be I don't know I don't have calipers I should definitely invest in a set though or whatever um, a Bussy Custom Shop logo is on this blade. And these handles are my favorite part about it. Uh, these are what is known, are known as uh, green linen. And it's a rope cut pattern. It's like an older style. This really brings out the pattern of the handle. When that, that rope cut, man, it's, it's just to die for, in my opinion. That's so freaking good looking. Um, and then this one has a penetrator tip slight chipping on the coating it's kind of a weak coating but uh, I'm not really worried about it I will be using this eventually because I'm not selling it I, I mean I sold off a fair, a fair amount of knives to, to get this um, and now that I have it it's not going anywhere it's going to be with me for good so might as well use it no sense in getting something like this if you're not going to use it but you know teach his own slate ding right here too but it's just nothing it's nothing who gives a crap uh, but the handles perfect I could look at them for hours but this is a super super rare uh, satin jack and I'm really really happy I actually had the opportunity to get one I actually never thought I would but um, you know took a few months of just kind of sitting and watching and I finally was able to get one Anyway, so that is that. Um, I have a few more reviews to do. I haven't done a video in, I guess, a little bit. Uh, I had a few new knives in. First one I'm going to be doing a review on is... I got my first Emerson knife. Uh, CQC7 with uh, the Wave. So I'll go over that. And I mean, it's not like you guys haven't seen an Emerson knife review before, but, you know, the chisel ground. Very cool knife. I like it a lot more than I thought I would. Um, but I'll go over it, so, and the next one that I have to do is the Spyderco Persistence, very, very cool little blade, especially for me in China, I just, I couldn't take it, and I, I really didn't think I'd like it because of that, but the fit and finish is a lot nicer than I thought, um, anyway, I, like I said, I'll go over that in the review of it, but probably actually do that tonight. I'll just get it. I'll get it up in the next few days. Uh, the pocket clip on this is not stocked, just so you guys know. It's not what you're going to be getting. Anyway, 
Alright, hope you enjoyed. Later.